Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to show you how to bend letters in the short way because last time it was too long. All right, first thing, let's uh, let's type in some uh, something, you know. Just select the type tool, click. I'm going to type in Panther. Make sure that you choose some really nice condensed type. For example, I chose the champion. This is a free typeface. As you can see, you got even more condensed letters. I'm gonna go with this one. From here, go to Object, Expand, click OK, right click on Group, and I'm just gonna rearrange these a little more. I'm gonna select them all, go to the Pathfinder, and click on Unite. If you don't have the Pathfinder, go to Windows and select Pathfinder. From here we're gonna go to the symbols which is located right here. If you don't have the symbols go to windows and select the symbols. Just drag and drop the typo right into the symbols. You can also rename it. I'm gonna rename it as 2. Click OK. I'm gonna delete the text. Go to the pen tool. Select the pen tool and also swap this from field to stroke. So we're on the field right now. We don't have anything on the stroke. I'm just gonna create a line like so and from here I'm gonna to go to the effects distort and transform zigzag go to smooth I'm gonna decrease this to 2 I'm gonna increase the size to 20 21 something like that click OK gonna to go to the object expand appearance and I gonna recolor this as white something like that go to the effects go to 3d extrude and bevel I'm going to arrange this so um, we got the extrude depth increase the de extrude depth some around I don't know I'm gonna go with 360 something like that and you can rotate the this uh, square just arrange it in a way so you're gonna see where the text gonna go so I'm gonna put the text somewhere around here now the problem is that one side is broken in two pieces I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about go to map art so basically we're gonna need to put a map on this basically the typo and this part is broken in two pieces so we don't need this part basically we're gonna work with the this is the other side so go to the symbols select the two as you can see you don't see it because it's on the flip side it's on the other side so anyway it's right here I'm gonna rotate it press and hold shift also and increase the size from here I'm gonna click OK and now I'm gonna rotate this cube like this so see that this is the upper part now so now I can see the type from here click OK you can also distort even more the typo as you can see this is the wave and you can increase the waviness even more but I'm gonna create a new one and decrease the waviness because I don't like it that much you select this line go to the object expand appearance from here right click on group let me see we're gonna need to right click again on group again and from here right click and release clipping mask so basically mainly it's ungrouped now so we get the text separately I can delete the rest of the you also can put some gradients on it I just gonna click here on the field so the field is going to be on the top go to the gradient click on the gradient and you press the letter G and you just pull it like so and you can modify the dark side to be here and I'm gonna click on the white, press and hold Alt and drag it. So this way you create a new copy. I'm gonna recolor this as gray, recolor this as a lighter gray. And where they bend, it basically should be darker. So yeah, basically this is how you make, you know, this is how you bend letters. Thanks so much for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos. Have a good one. Bye bye.